This is my grandfather. His name was Arville Lloyd Griffin. He was a fighter pilot during World War II. This is a story 80 years in the making about a man and a plane. This is Dottie May. She was also a fighter in World War II. Turns out that Dottie May is one of the planes my grandfather flew during the war. He continued to fight in the Korean War and in Vietnam. He retired a lieutenant colonel and sadly passed away in the 1980s from cancer caused by Agent Orange exposure. Here's the incredible story how the Dottie May was rescued and brought back to life. I can only imagine that he's smiling right now, knowing that Dottie May is alive and well. The History in an Image Dottie May by Tom Catter 5150 Dottie May has a story to her with a touch of history to go along with it. She is a P-47D Thunderbolt and manufactured in 1944 at the Republic Factory in Evansville, Indiana. She was assigned to the USAF's 9th Air Force on December 16, 1944, and served with the 405th Fighter Group 511 Fighter Squadron. Lieutenant Lawrence Cool had 17 combat missions in his logbook when he was assigned a new P-47 airframe. To honor his wife, he named the plane Dottie May and had the Roberto Vargas pinup calendar artwork piece titled Santa's Little Helper painted on the side. After flying in 90 combat missions, Dottie's flying career came to an end on May 8, 1945, when she crashed into a lake near Evansy, Austria. Sadly, the incident was not related to combat, but instead as a celebration. The pilot that day, Lieutenant Henry Moore, was flying low over a recently liberated concentration camp to boost the morale of the prisoners. However, he came down too low, and the propeller blades clipped the water causing the aircraft to crash into the lake. The airframe sank, but luckily Lieutenant Moore survived the incident. Dottie remained at the bottom of the lake for over 60 years. With the crash, Dottie May made history as the last USAF aircraft lost in action in the European theater of operations during World War II. In the summer of 2005, Dottie was raised from the lake in Austria and in 2010 brought to Idaho for restoration by vintage airframes. Surprisingly, she was reported to be in good shape, considering she was in water for over six decades. Some of her original paint still remained, including her name and nose art. The team at Vintage Airframes used original wartime design documents to make repairs and components. The owner spared no expense in restoring the aircraft to a factory new condition, and the results are easily apparent. Dottie returned to the sky on her first post-restoration flight on June 23, 2017. The aircraft is now owned by the Allied Fighters Organization, which is based at the Chino, California airport. After the war ended, many of the P-47s were scrapped of the approximately 15,000 P-47s built, Dottie is the only known combat veteran of either the 8th or 9th Air Force ETO area of operations with a combat history. Dottie now makes many regular appearances at air shows on the West Coast. The casual person may identify the aircraft as a P-47, but few people know her place in history. She is a beautiful aircraft, and it has been fun seeing her in her glory.